Hey everyone, it's been a while again. Every single time I do a video like this where I just sit down and talk, it's been forever. I know, I'm sorry I'm being really, really inconsistent with videos. It's just on board, it's a little bit harder than I wish it to be. First of all, I don't have so much time because I work every day. Second, uh, if I do have the time, then I'm tired and I go to sleep. And third, if I have time and the energy, then I probably have free time and I go out or, you know, hang out with friends and stuff. Life gets in the way, kind of. But I have some free time on my hands right now, so I thought I'd give you a little update of what's going on in my life here on board. Now, before I start with the main topic of this video, I just wanted to let you know that I will add a few clips here and there in this video, so don't be confused. I am currently in Marseille in France, have been for the last almost two weeks because the ship is here in dry dock. Now you might be wondering what a dry dock is and I'm no expert by any means but you can understand it as a period of time where the ship goes into maintenance. The most important thing is that there are no guests on board. Um, in the pool area right now and just checked out the buffet before and it looks really really abandoned. I would not want to walk around here in the evening or when it's dark, kind of scary. And things are covered up, chairs are scooted over to one side and stuff. So yeah, no signs of life here. Basically, it's like living on a construction site currently. And these are the, what I call pirate stairs. And I really hate going down these stairs or this gangway, I don't know how you call it, I don't care, pirate stairs for me. I'm just so scared, oh my god. You see, just a big ass construction site here. There's maintenance going on everywhere, people are repairing stuff, replacing stuff. Whoa! What you see here right now is uh, the casino. I actually have no clue if you can hear me. They will put in new machines, a new carpet, which looks the same as the old one, but yeah. Ooh! They have new carpet here. New carpets, also new, yeah, new everything. That was fast. Ripping out carpets and replacing them with new ones. They look the same, they're just new. Ooh la la, Tech 7 has a new carpet. But not everywhere yet. And yeah, it's really, really noisy everywhere. You hear that sound? Yeah, that's my new alarm. And I'm so happy about it because it wakes me up way before I want to. And there are also men everywhere. Generally, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of uncomfortable when they look at you like they've never seen any females before. When things are being repaired, it also means that not everything is working properly all the time. So we had quite a few problems with our toilet not flushing at the beginning for almost, or maybe for a week even. And I don't mean it wouldn't flush for one, two or three hours. I mean, it wouldn't flush the whole day or sometimes the whole night so we kind of had to get used to you know piss on piss situations and maybe even worse I'm really glad that I have a roommate who I'm 100% comfortable with another thing that we had was that for about a week we didn't have water in the evening because they were replacing the water pipes so from 9 in the evening until 6 in the morning we wouldn't have water which is not such a big deal you just need to adjust to when to shower or when to brush your teeth or save water to brush your teeth and stuff like that but i think it's fixed now we are having water 24 7 again one really annoying thing would be not having hot water now that itself is not a problem but not letting us know that we don't have hot water so that people have to find out when they're already standing in the shower waiting for the hot water to come yeah not a very nice experience. The one phrase that I've heard the most since I'm in dry dock is eh, what can we do? It's dry dock. Seriously, it's the reason for everything that's not working. Toilet not flushing, dry dock. No electricity, dry dock. No more wine and no more 7-Up in the crew bar, dry dock. Seriously, 
As I said before, we're about two weeks into dry dock right now and at the beginning we were at a pier that was really, really far away. It would take us 40 minutes or even more to walk from the ship to the exit of the port. But then, luckily, we moved. I need that stuff you got I need that stuff you got, 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 got. I need that stuff you got I need that stuff you got, 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 got. Got, got. I need that So now as you just saw we moved from our first dock to our actual one because the ship which was here before left today apparently oh it's dripping and now we're in our right dry dock and it will take a while they're taking out all the water so we're trying to get to see that you just saw oh my god this light is awful uh, but yeah you just see how our ship was going into the dry dock from the back of the ship the aft so called I hope we can see how the water is getting off at least that we can see the the wall. What are you laughing about? What? This is Aiden. He sucks. Oh. <laughs> you bitch. What? Okay, at least the forward of the ship is open. Are they closing the wall yet? We have a boat in front of us. <gasps> Ta-da! I don't know if you can see when the wall will close I will see it well if I Ooh. change of plans because it's way too cold way too windy and it's taking way too long but I think you get my point and the whole principle actually I have no idea if that's exactly how it's going to work but uh, it's way too cold to stand here and wait it's just taking too long and it's been much better now it's not even 10 minutes to walk to the exit of the port and from there we can just grab a bus into the city let me tell you that Marseille in November is cold i mean it kind of has to be cold because it's november already but i was just not expecting it because i just thought it's the mediterranean it can't be that cold big mistake and i was definitely not prepared for it i gave all my warm clothes to my mom because i thought i wouldn't need them anymore and in order to save space in my luggage yeah luckily i kept one jacket and i bought myself a new scarf so it's bearable Okay, I need to correct myself. We're having a late, late, late summer moment right now. And the sun is showing itself here in Marseille. So we're outside soaking in some vitamin D with some mate. <laughs> we're having mate right now, some snacks. We're putting on music in a bit and just enjoying this quiet moment in the sun. Personally, I find Marseille, eh. I don't know, I just didn't click with the city, but there are a few nice things about being here in France. The first one would be uh, Vietnamese food. It's quite popular here in Marseille or in France in general, so I was able to dig into some of my comfort food. I mean, look at this delicious food. The second would be amazing Wi-Fi. I found some really, really nice spots where I was able to upload a few videos. And the third would be Madeleine! Especially the ones from Bon Mamo are so delicious. Oh, I'm so happy. It's one of my favorite things about France for sure. I'm not a wine drinker, so it's like, mm, but these are 
so good they are the best one thing that i've been enjoying a lot here during dry dock is that we are wearing our own clothes even if we're working we are wearing our own clothes and it's so refreshing i feel like everybody's being more themselves and it gives people their personality another nice thing is that we don't have an all on board time because the ship is not going anywhere so it's nice to be able to go out in the evening without having to worry about what time you have to be back on board Overall, dry dock has been a nice experience for me. I was also able to see some friends when their ships were here in port. <laughs> and it's also interesting to see how things are working and how things are being repaired and replaced and to see all the process. So what's gonna happen now? I'm actually on my last day in dry dock here in Marseille and tomorrow I'm transferring to a different dry dock but the difference is that it's the dry dock of a brand new ship that's being built well actually it's not it's almost done because the delivery will be very soon delivery sounds kind of weird because it sounds like it's having a baby but it's not anyways i will be joining a brand new ship i'm so excited for this new challenge i'm really looking forward to it especially because i've never had that experience before yeah and that's it already i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching take care and i hope to see you sooner than later bye